In this video, I'm going to show you how File Audit can help you to actively monitor accesses on your shared files and folders. So here in the console of the File Audit software, first thing you do is go to Audit Configuration and select the most sensitive files and folders on your network that you wish to monitor. From there, I can go directly into the File Access Viewer to see in real time the accesses that are happening on the shares that I've selected. So I can see the date and time, the file or folder that was accessed, the access type, whether or not it was denied or granted, the user who attempted to access the file, uh, the machine from where the access was made with its client IP address, and the server where the file is stored. So I can see easily here that there's some um, denied accesses on accounting and people ops, some very sensitive folders that contain internal and client data. So I can go ahead and take a closer look at this folder to see who has been accessing it. So I can see here quickly, again, these red accesses that are denied, and they're by the same user, Alice. And I can see that Alice has tried to access these files on separate occasions from different machines. So now I'm going to take a closer look at Alice's overall activity by clicking on her username. And here I get a dashboard of the activity from this user from the last couple days and weeks. I can see there's quite a lot of red flags here. So again, denied accesses on sensitive files such as accounting and people ops. Um, I can scroll down further and see uh, that these accesses from all these files and folders that were read at the same time uh, on the same day, I can see that they happened simultaneously. So that can lead me to believe that Alice is selecting a large amount of files and copying them to an external drive or possibly to a desktop. So now that I've got this drilled down view of Alice's accesses, I'm gonna go ahead and export it into a PDF in case I wanna send it to a manager or in case any other um, alerts come up with this user. So I'm just gonna save Alice's report as a PDF. So the next step that I want to put in place is some proactive alerts in case these kinds of accesses happen again. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to access the alert tab. So from here I can create my alerts. What I'm going to do first is create a single access alert for any more denied accesses on those sensitive folders that we saw, accounting and people ops. So I'm going to give the alert a name, denied access Alice. I'm going to select the access status here, denied. I'll leave all the access types and I'll just enter the user Alice. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is select those two paths that we saw earlier, accounting and people ops. So I'm going to add the first one, accounting, and then I'm going to add the second one, just like that and validate that. Um, I don't want to exclude any hours from this alert. I want to be alerted 24 hours a day. And next thing I'm going to do is add the recipient for the email. So I'm going to add the admin. And I'm also going to add a Slack channel where all my admins receive um, messages so they can see those as well. So now I've got that. I'm going to save that alert. So the second alert I'm going to set up is going to be a mass access alert for Alice. And this is due to the activity we saw on several files or folders being accessed at the same time, showing that she could be copying or moving large amounts of data somewhere else. So I'm gonna call this um, Mass Access Alice. I'm gonna leave the uh, access status and types. I'm just gonna add here, again, our user Alice. And I'm gonna set a threshold. So I'm gonna set a pretty low. I'm gonna say if there's 25 files or folders that are accessed, um, within the span of 30 seconds. I'd like this alert to be triggered. For the monitor paths, I'm gonna put everything that's being audited because as we saw earlier, she, these were still accesses that were on files that uh, Alice is allowed to access. So we're gonna leave that. Um, again, I'm not going to exclude any hours, but I'm gonna add the email recipients and I'm gonna choose the same ones as before, the admin email and my Slack channel that receives all these alerts. So validate that, save that alert, and now I've got my two alerts set up. 
So that's how you can use File Audit to see if file access is on your files or folders, generate reports, and set up alerts to be proactive when suspicious behavior is happening on your network. Thanks for watching.